It's easy to think of a research project in terms of its final form. The full evolution of a project could be an article, or a dissertation, or a monograph. In business jargon, we look back on our work and see it as output, with deliverables. When we're compiling a CV or resume, this makes sense, but the time we spend on our dissertation is much more than the PDF we deliver in order to graduate. The dissertation is not just a document, it's a project. This means it has different forms at different stages. The same is true for research data. I like to talk about the research life cycle, or the research data life cycle. That's Moisir, a librarian. This life cycle, in its broadest strokes, tells the researcher first to come up with an idea for a research project. Next, collect what's needed for the project. Then, work with that collection to reach the goals of the project. Finally, publish the completed project and make plans for the project's afterlife so others can use it. In short, we brainstorm, collect, analyze, and share. This can be a project or a project's data or a project's archive. Of course, the stages of the life cycle can be broken down further. Brainstorming can include a literature review or a grant proposal, but the key is that the project is always evolving, and accounting for that change is the management process. Research data take one form during the collecting phase and evolve into another form when it's time for analysis. It's not simply a collection, it's now something curated. I talk about this as projects are processes. Projects are processes? If I may interject, this is Misha, the project manager for this very course. It's important to keep in mind that there is a difference between projects and processes. A process is something that has a somewhat standardized workflow, whereas each project is unique. One research project is not like another. Nevertheless, we can predict its shape in some ways. Additionally, the research project is made up of many smaller processes, like the process of collecting data, which we may repeat several times over the course of the project. Thanks, Misha. That's right. This is Jeremiah, another librarian. Projects are special, but they have predictable forms. So even though we know how a research project will evolve in the broader sense, the properties of each form, the accumulated skills and specific strengths of the form are unpredictable. We build up the skills by focusing on the processes that make up each form. In a word, we're training the project. And that training is a process. 